What's up everybody, it's Gabriela from the sea and today I'm gonna do another challenge and this is the dollar store makeup challenge. Basically I just went to the dollar store and tried to find makeup products and I'm gonna test them out and see how it works out. I got a the brow pomade and it comes with a little brush. Um, this was literally the only lipstick they had. Um, and this is actually from Wet n Wild. I actually know the brand so I'm surprised it is at a dollar store. I found this palette, there's like three different ones. This is the one I like the most. It has like some like grayish, purplish colors. I think it looks pretty interesting. It comes with a couple of, uh, I don't want to say brushes, but like, yeah, you get the drill. This contour palette looks huge. I'm excited to try. I feel like the highlighter is gonna be a bummer, but we'll give it a try. You can't really match yourself to a foundation. Looking at it, I can already tell it has a pink undertone, so it's probably not gonna look good on me. But we'll give it a try. And it's probably darker. My skin during winter gets really light, so. Some mascara. Found some lashes. And I bought this like purple liner uh, for the waterline. I think it'll look interesting with the colors that I chose for the palette. So without further ado, let's get started. So I'm thinking of doing like a smoky eye. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. So I'm first gonna do my eyebrows here. So right away, the consistency is very creamy. I'm excited about this one because I needed like a lighter color for the hair that I have now. So let's see. I hope it's pigmented. Wow. So I'm actually super impressed with the eyebrow gel. The consistency is super creamy. It has a really good pigmentation and it's lighter. So this is definitely going to be my new eyebrow spot. I feel like I'm going to hate this foundation. It was $2.99 and it's from the brand Face. I don't know. Face LA Colors. Um, professional Series. Okay. It was $2.99 and the shade is buff. Covers even out skin tone for flawless looking complexion so we'll see about that okay so uh, oh okay so the, the pump had a little cap okay and we're just gonna see i'm putting a fair amount just because i don't know if it's uh full coverage medium coverage it doesn't really say in here Ugh. So, reading here the ingredients, it has alcohol in it. Not a fan. It has fragrance in it. And, uh, so yeah, it doesn't really say anything about whether it is full, medium, light coverage, sheer matte, or anything. So I'm just gonna I apply it a generous amount, and I'm just gonna spread it out over and it is it is quite sheer to be honest like I put on quite a bit and you can still see my pores and but it does have like a nice tinting uh, even out effect so I do like it to be honest it smells like soap so I'm not sure that's necessarily really good. So I'm just gonna honestly put on one more layer and then we'll just leave it like that. Okay, next I'm gonna dive in into the Cosmic Color Shimmer Pack. It has 12 colors. I do like the packaging and do think this is quite pretty. Um, it looks nice. So with this I'm just going to go with a smoky eye because I, I feel like this will not have 
a lot of pigment. So I'm honestly most excited about this brown color because it has like a reddish tone and this shimmer looks really pretty. This one looks pretty too. So I'm just gonna... I was thinking of going more with the, like the purples and grays but I'm actually more excited about the brown. Well, let's see how it goes. I'm just gonna use this stuff because it's what came with the palette. So, we'll see. I'm hoping it is pigmented, but we'll see how it goes. Oh, it, the color is really pretty. It's definitely m more of a burgundy than a brown. So now I'm just gonna put the brown in my inner corner. And so with this kind of brush thingy, I find it quite complicated to get like the symmetry that I want on both eyes because it's not the same handling this way as going this way. It's just not really um, symmetry friendly. So then I'm gonna go with um, this shimmer color and I'm just gonna use my finger because I feel like it's gonna work better. So, let's see. Wow! This is so pigmented, it's so pretty. Wow. I chose not to do a cut crease because I thought it was going to be whack, like the pigmentation and stuff, but this is really wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's crazy. I paid $4 for this palette. Wow, this is really pretty. I am pleasantly surprised. <laughs> so then, I no longer think that the purple liner really matches but well I'm just gonna use it anyways so I'm thinking of doing the brown again for like the lash line okay I'll do some of the purple for the inner corner Let's see whoa Wow, this is quite pigmented. I am pleasantly surprised. And it's such a pretty color too. I'm gonna do the lipstick. Rich buildable color. Mm, okay. Shock full of vitamins and antioxidants. Feels like silk on the lips. Mm. We've never under we've never quite understood understood why others make you spend over 20 times the amount on something that we give you for that we give you for next to nothing our formula contains all the same things rich color vitamin e aloe vera and really feels like putting silk on your lips and if you think that's enough we've now added macadamia nut oil that contains antioxidants to help hydrate your lips for a smooth supple pop okay so that actually sounds amazing, but let's see the ingredients. And it doesn't look like it has parabens, so that's good. Um, so let's try this. This is the shade C5300. The color is really pretty. In camera, it looks like really pink, like Barbie pink, but it's more of a, like a pastel metallic pink. So it is actually really nice. I don't know if it will look different from like a different angle. Yeah, so see, this is more of what it looks like. And so yeah, I kind of look like the rainbow right now. Nothing matches, but it's okay. I just had to try on the lipstick. I'll probably change the lipstick to something else. So lipstick, yeah, I like it. Yeah, it is pretty soft. It's not matte formula, obviously or smudge proof or anything like that, so that's okay. Mm. So coming in next, the 
be the contour palette. So the contour palette is actually not huge. <laughs> so the box came like this. So that's basically it. Uh, so it wasn't as huge as I thought it would be, which is okay. Like, I don't need so much. Okay, so... <laughs> So this for some reason comes with this brush, like I don't know what you would do with like this tiny thing, but it's okay. So I'm just gonna use my own. So this contour looks very brown. So ooh, I'm just gonna, I kind of don't want to contour because the foundation is already so dark, but we're just gonna try it on. Wow, it's very pigmented. Okay. So I'm just gonna see if the highlighter works. It's kind of like a, a natural highlight as opposed to like an actual highlight with the shimmers in it and stuff. So, oh wait, whoa. So, whoa. So never mind, it actually does work for some reason. Like when I did the swatch on my hand, it didn't really look like I was doing it, but like the glow is undeniable. Like, see my nose? Like, that does work. Oh my goodness. So one thing about these products is that all the packaging has been pretty impossible to open. Like it's tightly... Um, wrapped in plastic, it has tape, you know those packagings for like the batteries and stuff that are like very hard to open, this is kind of like it. So I'm hoping that this liner is amazing. So the eyeliner is kind of whack, like I really have to like go over and 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 it still wasn't like staying on my waterline. Like the only reason why it's showing it's because it's on my lash line, but that shouldn't be the case. Water, like liner, eyeliner is for the waterline, okay? If, it, if you have to put it on the lash line for it to show, it's not a good liner. So... Yeah, the, not impressed by it at all. So the mascara is also wet and wild. Uh, it says soy protein fortified, enriched with acai oil, paraben free, which is amazing. Very black. Um, so yeah, apparently this mascara has protein. Wow, this is crazy. So I'm just gonna. I am so thankful that it doesn't have this stupid plastic wrap and I can just go straight in. Okay. So mascara works fine, it's just like any other mascara. If it does smudge uh, badly throughout the day, I'm gonna be like, hmm. And now I'm gonna put on the lashes. So the lashes are $1.99 and we're just gonna see how they look. Okay, so um, having tested everything, I say probably the, my, my least favorite thing is the foundation. Just because now I'm seeing it, um, the pigment is there, but it oxidizes um, quite orange. Like, I look pretty orange. I feel for the summer it would be okay, but as for right now, it doesn't look so good. Um, and once it dries, if you touch it, it like, like see that it, it goes away so it's pretty um not a really good formula um i was very impressed with the highlight it actually does look really nice and i thought it wasn't working and it is working it, it works pretty nice the eyeshadow was okay i mean the metallics are very pretty but the mattes 
are very hard to get right uh, most of the time. So uh, I think my favorite products were for sure the eyebrow stuff and the highlighter. And I'd say that's it. Although the liner looks pretty good, it is very hard to get it on. And although it's a pretty color, the pigmentation is just not there. But overall, it's all about application and practice. So obviously, even stuff from the dollar store, you can manage it, make it look good. So I hope you guys found this interesting. It's kind of like to see uh, all uh, the world around when it goes to me. When it comes to makeup, on average, I spent about thirty dollars in all these products. So I think. It is very good. Obviously, the only thing I wouldn't buy again from all of this is the foundation, but it is what it is. You shouldn't be cheaping out on your foundation anyways because it is stuff that goes onto your skin, into your pores. So you do want that to be of good quality. So other than that, I hope you guys like this video. Comment, like, and subscribe what was your favorite part. And I hope I see you guys on the next one.